whether it's a tree you see every day. I can't believe we walk past this every day and I every time we're here. It's got and time. I never got documented that one. Or a bug you've never seen before. The Nature Conservancy of Canada is looking for your help. Biologists and scientists and foresters and they can't be behind every tree and stream. So this is where Community science can play a really helpful role. The big backyard bio blitz is now on, collecting information on plants and animals across the country. Identifying the health of different species, where things are dispersing for plants or wildlife, and again, where invasive species are cropping up and where those need to be managed. So this is how it works. Say you're out for a walk in a park or you're by the seaside or even in your own backyard and you see a plant or an animal that you think is interesting. Well, you get out your phone, you turn on the camera, get a nice picture of it. And then you just upload that to the iNaturalist website. The site's app will even help you identify the species, then put the pictures on a Canada-wide map. So it's wonderful to see where your shots are showing up, but you can also see what other people across the country are uploading. But it's not just good for researchers. It's also designed to get more people into the great outdoors. <laughs> Mothers, fathers, kids daycares, summer camps, you name it. The hope is that by getting regular people involved, they'll grow new grassroots conservationists all across the country. In Vancouver, Jack Morse, City News.